So we know it wouldn't be long for the thieves to strike fast, but it looks like they've already got their hands on the Legacy Deluxe skids. And I gotta say the colors are right. Um, everything looks good so far, and of course this is from non-fans, so I never expect their reviews to be anything but subpar. But anyway, let's talk about the figure itself. These are pictures lifted from a website. Nothing you can do about it. Um, basically, it looks decent, but I feel like there's some proportion issues here. And I'm wondering if there's an extra step in the transformation that's missing. But we're going to go over that as we look at the figure. But I got to say, yeah, he does look good. You know, even though he looks more, he's got a weird front grill, but I guess they can't really copy the Honda, Honda City Turbo uh, R look to the T. So we're going to go over to vehicle mode first. And yeah, like I said, of course, the non-painted rims, it's usual Hasbro stuff. But he did paint the details on the front grill. Like I said, he kind of looks like a Honda City Turbo and kind of not at the same time. And especially here from the front, you can see it's a it almost like a Jeep like the Jeep uh, one from the uh, uh, Jurassic Park set. And he's got a blue axe weapon, which is like blue, kind of like that Energon looking weapon. Uh, so it doesn't, you know, look like he has the splooshing ports anymore. But here he is comparison to other vehicles. And here he is in comparison to the Masterpiece, which he almost looks the same size. It's crazy. And here he is in robot mode. And like I say, he looks a little stumpy. And I think it has a lot to do with the shins. And again, even standing next to, you know, side swipe and bumblebee, he just looks dumpy. He has the twin arm cannon, which that's a plus. And I'm kind of glad to see that. But in comparison to the masterpiece, his legs look a little dumpy. I don't know what it is. I almost feel like that black part top at the shin can fold down or fold inward or down. I don't know. It just looks like there's you know, a, a something there that folds down kind of similar to the masterpiece. But I really won't know that until I get the figure in my hands. And other than that, you know, like I said, going with the, the thieves, I just don't believe in any of the transformations. But other than that, I do. It does look good. I like the way it looks. He is, you know, pretty much the right size. Skids wasn't really like that big imposing figure. If you know the size of a Honda City Turbo R, he pretty much gonna be kind of on the you know short side of the deluxe scale not like an iron hide or um a ratchet or something like that where they would be larger in the deluxe proportion but other than that the colors look nice the figure looks nice i love the blue energon axe the twin arm cannon is a go i just have to kind of look at the legs when i get my hands off my copy so what are your thoughts are you going to pick up legacy skids this is you know a first 480 skid since generations and he's not idw and he's not built incorrectly so i think a lot of people are going to go for this and myself included so again this is super robot ed signing off we'll see you soon till we get more reviews bye bye